Hi guys, very good evening. This is Sundar Ravindranathan here. Hey guys, how is everybody doing? Lovely, lovely, wonderful. At last, you know, uh, welcome to this session where we are initiating the academic plan for this year, right? And what is this session called as? Can you type it? Hi, hi, hi. Hello, Bhavya, please come. What is this session called as, guys? <coughs> Come on, guys, answer me. I'm not getting a response. Yeah, yes, Divyanshi, you got it. Adesh, hi. Shahid, yes, we are starting. So this session is called, uh, you know, this is a part of the Siksha 2021 plan. So which is Vedantu Young Wonders Academic Plan for the, this year 2021. And for the subjects, covering the subjects, Math, Science, Social, English. Done? All right. So today we will be dealing with, uh, you know, I'm just waiting for a few guys to join so that we have, you know, uh, so that no one misses out on anything. Right, guys. So, my dear kids, yes, I hope uh, I know that you guys really like Young Wonders. Uh, we work for you. You guys are special for us. And that's the reason we take so much, uh, you know, efforts to ensure that we give you quality content and quality teaching with the best intent. Right? So, for people who are new to Vedantu Young Wonders, we deal with grades 6, 7 and 8. You will find the entire academic syllabus for the subjects which I just spoke about being covered. And not just that, you will find loads of general knowledge quizzes, spell bee contests, all right, a lot of very interesting, exciting stuff. Do it yourself experiments, learn a new language, all that stuff. So do not miss, subscribe right now. If at all you want to do it, the time is now. Do it. Lovely. Excellent, my dear kids. Excellent to see that. All right. Hi Rinki, we are lucky, not just you, we are lucky to have wonderful, wonderful, so, you know, kind of dedicated kids like you. In 6th, 7th and 8th grades, there is no necessity for you guys to come and visit this. At this time, you can just keep playing, keep taking a nap, you can always do that. But you chose, you chose to study, to excel, to perform and show world that you are victorious. Lovely guys. So, what are we going to deal with? What, where, when and how? Okay, what do we mean by that first of all? Right? My dear kids, let me ask you this question. If you want to know what happened yesterday, what will you do? <clears throat> Divyanshi, most of it. If I want to know what all things happened that yesterday, yesterday's happenings, what do you guys do? Yes, yes, Sid, that is right. Guys, answer me, come on. If you guys want to know what happened yesterday, when I say yesterday, generally, yesterday, what all things happened from morning to evening, how will you get to know that? Newspaper. Lovely, lovely. If I want to know what happened, uh, say, 10 years ago, what do we do? Yeah? What do we do? Tell me, come on. I'm fine, guys. I'm, I'm fine. You will Google it. Yeah, possibly, but can't really, you know, bang on, get it. There is a way. Again, if I want to know what happened, say, thousands of years ago, right? That is this chapter. What all things happened in the past, how the civilization got built. What, where, how, and when. I hope you guys are excited because it's very, very essential 
to understand how it all started guys i hope you would agree with me how it all started exactly that's what we're going to do be ready okay so guys in this <coughs> session we will be dealing what can be you know we know about the past where did people live right now we are building beautiful houses thousands of years ago how were people you know kind of living who were those people okay the timeline it would i'm sure you know remember there was a time when man invented fire there was that time early age as we call it right from that time major developments happened how did world started developing the nature you know the civilization started developing people traveled you know what most of the things around you which you see are innovations which have happened as a result of travel i hope would you would agree with me on this most of the innovations are those which happened as a result of travel people traveled and found out these things let's see what it is what was the impact of travel and what are the names of those lands what got invented what what was the name of the different places that's what we are going to deal, deal with <clears throat> lovely guys so let us find out what can we know about the past food people ate all right guys now you know you all know how we date time right so we have always mentioned time based on the birth of the christ from christ time so we always say 2000 years ago from 2000 years is what we take the time we call it as the past before that it is always bc all of you would agree right now what kind of food food were people eating all right and what kind of clothing they were what kind of house knowing the lives of hunters game story songs lives of people what should you know about the past these are things you should be very very inquisitive to learn about the past clear i hope you guys are clear so if at all you want to know about the past what are the things you should know these are the things that you should be knowing clear what kind of food people ate guys can you tell me all right early age when people started when they started itself were they kind of eating non veg any idea let me ask you a few questions before i actually start the menti and all at the end let me ask you this yeah said this saying hunt and eat animal at the beginning itself did they do that this is what you should know about the past i'm not going to give you all answers it is your responsibility to find it out and that's quite a great chapter to study okay lovely now my dear friends you know what let us start with a very very interesting question where did people live how it all started you know what history says okay information clearly denotes peep in you know civilization flourished always on the banks of rivers right civilization flourished always on the banks of rivers why now oh, guys can you tell me why come on let me find out what do you guys say about it why because banks of rivers are those where vegetation generally flourishes you will hump you will have hump to food to eat number 1 number 2 8000 years ago people started agriculture do you know that there were people 8000 years ago they they were growing crops but the best place what they found are the banks of rivers to get that done right i hope you guys uh, <clears throat> all you guys understand how this all flourished what happens at the banks of the rivers because that is very very congenial supportive for vegetation to flourish and that's where people started living right i hope you guys are clear lovely so my dear kids now you know if at all someone says how civilization started you should be able to confidently tell banks of the river say you know in this chapter you will find that they give very clear indications that narmada river so much of civilization lot of development started 
and people were excellent gatherers. I'll tell you what gatherers mean. Okay, guys, listen here. So, in ancient times, in the, along the banks of these rivers, especially at the south of Ganga, okay, that place is called Magadha. Do you know the kingdom of Magadha? Right? Now lying in the, in the state of Bihar. 8,000 years ago, people were growing wheat and barley there. So, this is how strong our past is. I hope you guys are clear now. Right? So, our past people, especially in this Indus Valley civilization, they were just amazing guys. So many thousands of years ago, we, we know what was agriculture, we know what was hunting, we know what was war. Right? And similarly, when it comes to rice, we all, rice is uh, something that is eaten throughout the country, right? When it comes to rice, the first grown place was always on the north of the Vindhya. All of you know Vindhya mountains or north of the Vindhyas, right? So, I hope you guys are clear till now how it all started, what should you know about your past and where do people live, where did they start living, what kind of place they preferred, always the banks of rivers, clear? So, who are these people? Now, coming to who? Guys, in ancient, our, you know, ancestors were amazing gatherers. These guys had the smartness to find out how to collect, collect food. Collection of food is called gathering. They are called gatherers. Okay? They were amazing gatherers and not just the veg. They, you know, as uh, he saw, someone rightly pointed out, they started hunting also, guys. They started hunting animals you know, started, you know, uh, preparing meat as well, cooked them and ate them as well. What else did they gather? They gathered food, fruits, all right, a lot of vegetation was there on the banks of rivers. And along with that, they were also growing crops, I was telling you. So, these are people who are called gatherers, who are typically our ancestors, right? This is, see, if you look at this like a story, it's like a movie, trust me. How it all started. People started slowly, they identified the banks of rivers, started living, right? And started hunting animals, started uh, doing agriculture, growing crops. Slowly, civilizations started picking up. Right, guys? Okay. Now, if I have to give you the timeline, 8,000 years ago, people were growing crops, wheat and cereals, which I just said. They were also good in rearing cattle. Sheep, goat and cattle were reared. Okay, they were living in the, you know, undeveloped villages. Yarrow Hills to the northeast and Vindhyas in central India. Alright, Vindhyas is known for rice. It all started to the north of Vindhyas. 8,000 years ago. Now, next timeline. What is the next timeline? 4,700 years ago. 4,700 years ago, our city slot flourishing in the banks of rivers. Okay, Narmada, Yamuna, Ganga. If you look at it, all major, uh, you know, vegetation was always on the banks of rivers. Now, 2500 years ago, third timeline, banks of Ganga and its tributaries, cities started developing. Most of the well-grown cities, if you look at it, they have banks, river banks in them. Okay. I hope you guys are clear. Guys, is everyone clear till this? Because banks of rivers, the, you know, the vegetation, the soil will be so fertile for all vegetation to grow up. So now look at it. It all started there and because of such smart ancestors, we are living in a country or in a, in a time where every innovation, amazing innovations have happened and we are enjoying everything. But it all started there, guys. That's why our past as to who, where, how and when is super important. Is everyone clear till this? Right. Lovely, lovely. Superb. Before Christ. Now the impact of travel. What is the impact of travel? Guys, You, we all think that just traveling, you know, we just do travel for different reasons, a vacation, just to spend time, enjoy. But remember, in olden days, right from olden days, traveling was a necessity 
and all as i already said all recent developments have happened as a result of travel you don't believe it i will prove it right now remember people traveled over hill mountain desert plains what flourished as a result of it roadways traf routes started getting built number 1 number 2 people started traveling to escape from natural disasters and identified places which are congenial for living so now that's how the right civilizations which were able to hold on for thousands of years started getting built that's again a result of travel three people went from one place to another for war for conquering more and more lands that's how you know war you know the wars started happening number 3 number 4 merchants started traveling for what naturally transactions which are commercial for money for exchange of goods barters clear number 5 religious people started traveling as a result of which what happened spirituality and culture started spreading throughout the world now you all of you understand what is the impact of travel that is how powerful traveling from one place to another was now all what we have it is a result of something most of the time we have something made in china something made in us something made in different place right how did it happen as a result of travel people traveled i hope all you guys are clear with this yes guys Yes, yes, yes. Sahil and Sartak, that is right. I hope you guys are clear, right? So I think I know there is another slide which I already spoke about impact of traveling. What is the impact of traveling? Right. So the impact of traveling is it started spreading, you know, cultures across the world. in india we have everything right we have hinduism we have christianity we have uh, islam we have everything similarly across there you know you go to another country cultures have started spreading religion started spreading number 1 number 2 okay new ways of uh, you know music new ways of sculptures lot of stuff started spreading also they were learned see if you look at it there is something called silk route correct okay, what is that say especially to places like europe and all from asia to europe uh, you know uh, uh, print culture and all started moving the entire print system of india china or japan started moving towards europe especially italy and all marco polo was the one who was uh, responsible for that and it happened because of what traveling and new we we have restaurants which are multi cuisine all of you know multi cuisine restaurant my dear kids all of you know that Yeah, all of you know multi cuisine restaurants. Lovely, lovely. Okay. So what is that? It you know for a cuisine of one country we are using Italian cuisine. What do we mean by that? Mexican sauce. What do we mean by that? Everything is a result of. people traveling from one place to another i hope all of you would agree with me on this yes lovely lovely to see that okay all right my dear kids names of the lands now you know what india is known as india and bharat you know why the name india came all of you i think i have already showing it so you will know it India came from the word Indus, which is our Indus Valley civilization, I, and it was that Indus. The word Indus came from Sindhu. Sindhu means San, in Sanskrit. It's called Sindhu in Sanskrit. Are you guys clear? So Iranians and Greeks who are familiar with the Indus, the Iranians and Greeks, look at where it is coming. All right, called it Indus or the Indus. so these were the names of lands it was called as india and bharat hindus or indus right so the land to the east of the river was called india the name bharata was used typically by northwest people people living in the northwest 
as mentioned in the Rig Veda 3500 ago, years ago, we used this word called Bharata. And that's how we also call India as Bharat. Alright guys. Hey guys, are you guys ready for the Menti quest? All of you give me a yo. By that time, let me prepare myself for that. Come on guys, come on, come on, come on. Ready? All of you? Hey guys! I hope everyone is ready now. Let me see if everyone is Lovely. No, my dear kids, the Menti code is 645784. You have to go to menti.com. Menti.com. All right, whatever I taught you guys till now, you need to ensure that you guys, uh, let me see how well you remembered, how well you guys just understood the gist of this session, which is our past, what, where, how, and when. Super. Now, guys. Next 10-15 minutes are going to be super awesome. Again, of course, you. I hope you guys liked the, the initial part also, which I explained to you guys. All right. So, I am just waiting for everyone to join. There are people joining the session. Let's wait for them. Okay. Guys. Is everyone joining? Menti.com. Once you go to menti.com, use the code 645784. Okay. Mukesh, what happened? Mukesh Meena. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to start the quest. Be ready. Answer fast. First questions on your screen. Where do people mostly live in ancient India? Cities, villages, near banks of the river, none of this. They yeah, are simple question, right? Come on, don't worry. Today it will be simple only. Going forward, you see. You know how I trouble you guys with challenging questions, right? Okay. All right, guys. If everyone has answered, I'll move on. Very easy. Time up. Let us look at how many of you got it right. See here. 129 of you got it right. 43, 44 of you got it wrong. Come on, guys. I told you guys. People mostly preferred living in the banks of, near the banks of the rivers because the soil was fertile. Okay, they were able to have vegetation in place and they were able to hunt. Animals were there for hunting. They were able to gather food, a lot of that. Okay. All right. Ready for the next question? Here we go. So, let's look at the leaderboard also. Okay. The fastest one to answer was Shubham. Followed by Lavan, followed by Piyush and Sundar Sarlavar Kunal. Thank you, Kunal. I am proud. Frosty and the bottom five, Shrikar, Superstar, Slok, Malvika and Pradamesh. Lovely guys. Okay, ready for the next question. Here we go. What do you call the earliest people who live near the banks of rivers? Citizens, tribes, both one and two, gatherers. Come on, come on, come on. Answer fast, guys. Quick. I hope everyone has answered. 
people who live near the banks of rivers guys i have clearly taught this just some 20 minutes ago not even 20 15 minutes ago okay last 5 seconds here we go let me show the answer let me see how many of you got this right time up <clears throat> okay guys 70 of you chose tribes not necessarily tribes need to be in the banks of rivers guys okay tribes are clusters of people known for something all right it's like a it's similar similar to a group of people okay who are who represent a similar culture the right answer is gatherers okay all right now is there a change in the leaderboard let me check come on come on guys what happened all right shlok is stopping the list now wow surprising shlok is stopping the list good job shlok followed by manan arnav rakshu lucky and bottom five anmol sana toshniwal abhinav superstar Here we go with the next question, question number three. What is that question? Which among the following crops were grown eight thousand years ago? Come on, guys, you should pick it. All right, don't mean look, don't make me look like a bad teacher by choosing the wrong answer. Come on, come on, come on! Time is running. Still, a few have not answered. Time up. Okay, let me see how many of you got it right. Wow, hundred and eight of you got it right, but still, almost fifty, sixty of you got it wrong, guys. Come on, wheat and barley. Apart from that, I said north of India's rice was there, but wheat and barley were the crops typically grown eight thousand years ago. All right, great. Now the leaderboard, any change? Okay, there seems looks like a change. Rakshu, followed by Lucky. All right, followed by Sana, Superstar, Lucky, and Advait. Great guys. Bottom five is also changing. Amanjit, Vaibhavi, Manya, shout out Mushfiq and Aniket. Okay, next question. Here we go. Come on, guys, come on. How many years ago cities developed along the bank of river? I showed a timeline. Remember? So where was that river thing coming? How many years ago? Two thousand five hundred, two thousand seven hundred, four thousand seven hundred, four thousand five hundred. You know what? If you properly, smartly look at the option itself, you will know the answer. I've given a clue to you. Let me see if you guys are able to figure this out. <clears throat> Come on, guys! All right, time is going to be over now. Last five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Time up. Let me see how many of you got it right. See guys, 84 of you only got it right. So clearly, I gave timelines. Remember, 8,000, 4,500, 2,500. Yes. How did you forget this, guys? Come on, 2,500 years ago. See, you know what? This is a beautiful concept. First, we explain, and then when you guys choose to express, I'm sure everything registers in your mind really well, right? Guys, do you like like this concept of conducting a A session followed by a quiz. Give me a yo if you like it, guys. Guys, by the way, you will might have many doubts also. Don't forget to put your doubts in the comment section so that we I answer it once the session is over. Comfortably, I will sit and answer the comments. Okay? Thank you. It's okay, Biswas. It's okay. All right. Next question. Ayushman, 
no problem it is okay so what in ancient times the area along these rivers to the south of ganga was called magadha pataliputra indraprastha none of this which is the right answer All right, last five seconds, guys. Come on, pick it up. Time's running. Time is up. The right answer is always Magadha. All right, most of you got it right, but there are almost fifty. What, forty-five, fifty-six of you who got it wrong? Come on, guys. Magadha is the right answer. Okay, the area surrounding exactly the same words which I used. Area surrounding the south of Ganga. All right. Okay, data board. Any change? Sana is stopping the list now. Yes, followed by Rakshu, Anmol, Metal, and Srikar. Great job, guys. Here we go. I'm moving on. Who do you? Why do you think religious leaders travel? I showed one slide. Impact of travel, right? What was that? To conquer other lands, to search for livelihood, to escape from national natural disasters, to offer instructions and advices to the people. Which is the right answer? Why religious leaders traveled? Time is running. Come on, come on, come on, guys! Quick, quick, quick! Last five seconds, guys. Time is up. Done. So the right answer is always to offer instruction and advices to people. Great job. Many of you got it right. Lovely to see that. Excellent, guys. Excellent. So is there a change now? Okay, I think there is a change now. Rakshu has moved down. Anmol is taking the top list, followed by Rakshu, Vibhavi, Aryan, Toshniwal, Advait. All right, Sid, Sadhu, Garo, and Srikar. Bottom five. Here we go. Next question, guys, on your screens now. Who called Indus as Hindus or Indos? That is how I ended today's session. Actually, the last thing that I thought was this. Iranians, Greeks, both one and two, neither one and two. Come on, guys. I can't give you a simpler question than this, right? The options are, in fact, a, a lot more simpler. All right, time is running. Time is going to be over. Last five seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, time up. Everyone should have got it right, guys. I clearly told you Iranians and Greeks, right? Few of you have chosen Iranians and Greeks. Beta, please remember. Okay, but so Iranians or Greeks, all right, both of them, both one and two is the right answer. Don't miss this. Be careful. All right, lovely. So. Leaderboard: Anmol, Rakshu, Vaibhavi. Anmol, Rakshu, Vaibhavi, Sadhu, Gaurav, Guru, Superstar, Choco Fizzle, Metal, and Tesa. So, Anmol, many congratulations! Well done for topping today's quiz, academic quiz on our past, what, where, how, and when. Six thousand eight hundred and forty-four points. Many, many congratulations. Followed by all the people whom I just spoke about, guys. Lovely to see that. Excellent, my dear kids. So, guys, I hope you guys uh, liked the today's session. Right, hit the like button. Hey, tell me that if you really liked it. And guys, by the way, loved it. Devyanshi, this is how every day will be. Every session will be. You guys are going to love it. Twenty thirty minutes of inputs followed by a, a, a wonderful mentee quiz. Ready? Super guys, it was lovely interacting with all you kids today. All right, 
and support everyone guys very important and we will also ensure in the weekends and all we'll have spell week quiz gk quiz everything will conduct but academics is more important you guys are called students because you are for your academics right great lovely guys thank you arti thank you so it depends on uh, you know the grade so next session again will be 6 o'clock all right and the next one would be at 9 o'clock done lovely lovely so priya ma'am will be taking mathematics so at 6 don't miss it guys be there all right lovely guys lovely to meet you guys bye bye